Hello everyone and welcome to this bonus video in our survival game series done by Brackies. I am the CEO of Brackies and in this video we're gonna take a look at how to download, import and use the survival game assets which you can download from our website for free. So if, you're, if you think you are stuck in a matter, um, you can't get the scripting to work, or if you just want to use some of the sounds or models or something like that used in the videos, you can always get them for free on our website. So uh, I am making this video because you guys requested me to do so. Alright, so if you uh, already know how to import the assets or are not really interested in them, you can just go ahead and skip this video. It's all we're going to cover here. So first of all, let's go to our website. So open up your browser and you can see that I am here at brackies.com. And uh, first I want to mention before we get started that these uh, things are available for free. Uh, and so we do not profit off of them. If you want to support what we do, you can always go to the donate section and uh, you can decide completely how much you want to donate and uh, if you want to at all. But um, of course, we would love it if you did. And uh, if you don't, that's completely fine too. So now let's go ahead and hit the download survival assets button, which is located in the middle of the homepage. Um, I'm thinking about redesigning the website a little bit, but it should like somewhat sim uh, look somewhat similar in the future too. You can also click on the banner here to get into our survival game series page and download them from there. But hit the download assets used button. This shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. And uh, I have downloaded it already. Here you go. So um, this version is the version 8. Survival assets 8. And... Uh, when you just download the assets, they are in a compressed format. Uh, to be more specific, they are in a .raw format. And uh, the .raw or raw or whatever you, however you want to say it, um, is used for making folders into just one file. Uh, so that's what I've done here. And so you would need to decompress or uncompress the file before we can use the assets. And this is done using a program that is uh, free to download. So if you're on a Mac, you could go ahead and find the program in the App Store called Unarchiver. Or uh, if you're on a Windows computer like I am now, you can go ahead and search for WinRAR and uh, from the raw labs and download the w version that fits your computer. And so when you have done that, it shouldn't be harder than right clicking the file and hit the extract to survival assets 08. And now WinRAR will create a folder for us called survival assets. And uh, on the Mac, it should be pretty much as easy. I'm sure there are plenty of guides on how to do it. Uh, it's just opening the file with an archiver and it will do the same. So if we double click the survival assets, whoops, there are actually two folders now, then you, in that case you can just go ahead and hit the uh, extract here instead. So inside of this we have uh, quite a few things. Uh, we have quite a few uh, folders. So first one is audio and inside of the audio folder you will find stuff like the music that we used and the town ambience uh, which is also used in the game and inside of the GUI we have a Photoshop file containing the crosshair inside of the imports we have all of the different UVs and textures used for the weapons and models and then we have a folder called materials containing all of the different material data for the different um, models and then we have both the FBX files for import into Unity if you don't have Maya. Or if you have Maya, you can just use these Maya files and you can then also edit them inside of, uh, of, of Maya. So uh, keep in mind that you can always make changes to the models that uh, we use and that I create. And uh, everything you get in this pack uh, feel free to use it for both the commercial and 
just educational purposes, you can make a profit off of these as long as you don't state that they, uh, you are the one who made them. So, uh, okay, so we have the scripts folder, which should be pretty self-explanatory, and then the different textures. So, as always, I've opened up Unity, and here we are. And to import stuff in here, all you have to do is go uh, and find the element you want to import. For example, the crosshair, and then just drag it in, and there you go. And then you can fiddle around with the import settings. This is a crosshair, so we want to change it to GUI, and hit apply. And now this should work just as well as the one I used in the video. So if you are uncertain about how you would uh, import the different assets, uh, go back and watch the different videos. Um, I should explain most of it. Under the imports, uh, we have the different models. And uh, in here, uh, these are a little harder to understand. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I would do this. So I would go into Unity and create a new folder just to make sure that I have everything inside of in, in just one place. And I would call this, well, I would call it imports. For now, let's just call it test. And then double click it. And then we can go ahead and import, um, let's say we want to import the doors. So I would take the door UV, the UV normal map, the wall, all of these, and drag them in. And then uh, Unity will process it and import it uh, itself. And if you're having problems, it can be a good idea not to drag them in, but instead right click in the project pane, hit the import, uh, import new assets, and then find them and import them. Uh, and then let's go into the FBX files and drag in the door. And there you go. Uh, Unity has pretty much taken care of everything. Uh, this might be because I've done this before, but let me just show you how I would set this up. So I would change the scale factor um, depending on how big the door is when I drag it in. So if I just drag this into the scene, you can see that the door is way too small. So I would select it in the project pane and change the scale factor to something like 1 or 0 0.5. Let's try that. Now it's actually pretty huge, but uh, it's close enough. So the rest we can just scale inside of Unity. And there you go. And uh, if you're having problems with uh, naming and stuff, uh, don't name them inside of the project pane. Name them inside of Unity instead. So uh, let's or inside of the scene instead. So let's just name this uh, door wall. And the other one we would then name door <laughs> door. <laughs> Silly, I know. Uh, and, and so this would work. And uh, a good thing to remember is that unless you are importing something with, with animation, which we don't have here, um, we create the animations inside of Unity, uh, so it's a good idea to hit the object and under the import settings, go under both rig and hit none and then apply and then animations and uncheck the import animation. And just really be careful with these settings, take a good look of, at them. And, uh, and so this should work really fine and uh, then you, you uh, could create some colliders inside of unity which we also have a tutorial on called mastering collision and uh, that's basically it for the videos guys um, for some of you this might have been really self-explanatory but um, i've just gotten a bunch of questions asking me on how to do this so i thought i would clear things up and uh, so there you go i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one Let's <laughs> go.